chest roll. Even if you know how to do a chest roll, if you want some extra tips to make it really, really smooth, definitely give this a watch and give some of these tricks a try. So I know that there are a few different grips that people use for their chest rolls, but for the purpose of this tutorial and what I have found to be the easiest to make smooth is a grip between your thumb and your pointer finger as if you are shaking someone's hand. I'm going to show you a chest roll first and then I'll break down some tips so you can make it as smooth as butter. So, first things first, instead of letting the elbow bend when you are doing your chest roll, I want you to keep your right arm perfectly straight. And I want you to think instead of making it a movement just at the wrist. Personally, I like to kind of sweep my arm behind me. That's where I gain my momentum from. On my way up, as soon as my arm is at a T, that's when I push my wrist up and let the hoop roll between my thumb and pointer finger down my body, across the collarbone, and seamlessly into the other hand. So arm pushes back. Movement at the wrist, you grab, and there you go. Tip number two. I know when the hoop is coming at you, it can be scary, and your first instinct is to look away. But if you're not looking at the hoop, you're not gonna know where it's going. So trust yourself, you're awesome. You are totally capable of doing this trick. Keep your eyes on the hoop. So, arm goes down, I'm watching the hoop, all the way across, and I'm completely aware of where it is at every second. I'm going to show you from the side. Hoop goes down, release, and catch. Third tip, if your body is totally straight, you are going to hit yourself on the side of the head with the hoop. And as you can just see, it makes it really impossible to do the trick. So, tilt your head back a little bit, or lean your chest back. I personally like to do a little bit of a back bend, but be really careful about your back. If you do, keep your tummy tight so you can support your spine and do this movement safely because above all else, you should be doing these movements and being nice with your body. So, you lean back, you watch, arms stay straight, it's movement at the wrist. From the side, arms swing down and back, you push, catch, and notice how I'm leaning back just a little bit. Now, the last thing I want you to think about is the amount of effort you are putting into it. Less is more, or so I have found personally in this trick. If you fling the hoop, I mean, that was pretty cool, I must admit, but if you really fling that hoop super, super fast, it could go flying. I want you to be a little softer. Now, one more time with all of the tips that we have talked about. From the front, arm goes back, movement at the wrist, Watch the hoop lean back, catch. And from the side, arm goes back, wrist, look, lean back, catch, and then smile because you're awesome. Now, if you post a video that you want me to see, tag me and hashtag Miss Hoopty Do Feature so I can repost your videos and show the world how awesome you are. Thank you guys for watching, and we will learn something new soon.